Hello and happy November. We're in November, which means lots and lots of Christmas videos, even more than last month. <laughs> so we are in Ikea at the moment. We're going to have a little look at their Christmas items. And then we're going to head over to Costco and have a look at everything they have in Christmas wise. I did a little bit of a new arrivals first look last month because they had some Christmas pieces in, but they didn't have lots and we're now in November so I expect there's going to be lots and lots of Christmas items in Costco so get comfy and let's go Christmas shopping. The candy cane doormat is cute, it's £12. It's a good size as well. So I didn't actually pop into Ikea to look at the Christmas things. I just finished a bedroom makeover and there was a couple of shelves that were out of stock when I ordered all the wardrobes. So they're in stock now, so I'm just going to pick those up just to finish off the, the wardrobes just a couple of shelves on the top that they were out of stock. So it's not a big deal, but since passing by, it's a good opportunity to come in and pick those up. I'm most looking forward to Costco. I'm also going to pick some pastries up as well. Already know I'm going to get pastries. Have you tried the pastries from Costco? Because they are delicious. Absolutely love them. <laughs> So if you're new here, I'm Emily, stick around for shopping, home renovations like bedroom makeovers, reviews and vlogs. We've got lots and lots of Christmas and shopping videos coming up and already on my channel. So if you are new here and you're enjoying this video, you might want to check those out as well. Down to see what's hidden beneath the Christmas tree. Look, but not touch their toad. When we're caught in the Christmas rush, it's so easy to lose touch with the true meaning of things and what really matters. Just look up. They don't actually have the shelves in stock in Ikea, but they do at their warehouse. So it's just like a five minute drive and I'm going to go and collect those. But we just popped into Asda and they have delicious, delicious pizzas, which I've just ordered. And I'm pretty sure I've eaten at this place in America before. So it's going to make me feel like holiday. Look, this is one I've gone for. The pepperoni. The chicken and cheese looks delicious too ham and cheese. Oh, look at that. Yummy. All 
We're in Costco. <laughs> Oh, giant flumps. They're four seventy-eight. So I usually tell you the price, including VAT. So if you look at the sign, you've got um, three ninety-nine. Then underneath, you have the price, including VAT as well. So when I say the prices, I'm usually saying the bottom one. And sometimes it takes me a second because that is so much smaller than the other one. Oh, I love these fruit snacks. They have them in America, but you can't buy them from the supermarkets here, I don't think. They're $16.18 and you get 80 pouches. I always love looking at the book section. Looks like they have some different ones than they had the last few times I came. So we've got some beautiful Charles Dickens books. Look at this. £11. It's the four novels. You have the Bronte sisters, some different ones. So as you can see, the books are a very popular section. It's one of my favorite sections to visit in Costco. Let me know what your favorite section is below. The Christmasaurus. So I used to read that um, to my classes during Christmas, the Christmasaurus. And then recently Tom Fletcher has brought out some more. So he has more in the series. My students used to love that. Absolutely loved the Christmasaurus. And it's a little bit of a different book, which is nice. Oh, Harry Potter book, pop-up models. I enjoy her books. I've read Court of Thorn and Roses and then another series which isn't here. I always get so confused because the covers look so much the same. And when you read, is it this one I've read? Yes. This, these are the ones I've read. I don't know if I've read the second one, the final one. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to look it up. I really enjoy her series. I think she's a good author. Like easy reads, but keep me entertained. Just look in, oh, here's the Christmas section. Let's go down one of these aisles. So I have some chicken noodles to try. Whiskey tour of the world. Oh, cute. Does it actually come in the book boxes? Looks like it does. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, it does. Wow. How much is that? 138 pounds. Wow. And you receive 24. So it's almost like a countdown, is it? You could have that as your Christmas advent calendar. I have gift boxes of wine. Wow, this is fancy. Serving bowl and pesto set. Okay, this is more me. That looks like a nice gift. It's 22.32. We're tired of Chelsea coffee gift sets. Oh, the Nutcracker has fudge in. Cool. Wowza, look at that biscuit selection, 15 pounds. The noodles are very spicy. Too spicy, you need to go find a bin in a moment. But they have these cute little cakes with stars on now, I wanted to show you. Look how cute they are with the little stars on. You get nine and they're nine pounds. My mouth feels like it's on fire right now. Oh my goodness. Whew. 
cannot recommend those noodles at all. Never mind. Oh, I like those. They're like chocolate Pringles. They just have the caramel sea salt. I think I showed these in the last Costco one. So I was disappointed they didn't have the orange flavor inside. They're £7.06. Oh, I've had these before, not this make. I was not a fan. I was thinking, oh, these are these gonna be amazing because essentially they're the bottom part of the ice cream cone. You know, you buy ice creams and you've got the chocolate in the bottom and the cone, and that's like the best bit. You eat the ice cream and you're like, yes, cannot wait for the end part. Wasn't that great? It was a little bit disappointing. Um, anyway, they're £10.78 if you want to try them. Oh, what are these biscuits? Ooh, Belgium chocolates. Oh, I wonder how many of these you get. Oh, that's good value. £10, but you get 12 in there. And I feel like the hot chocolate bombs are like more than a pound each from what I've seen. But when you buy them in the supermarket, it's either good value or more or less the same, I'd say. Oh, cute. Oh, yummy. Oh, these have little chocolates inside. I'm saying three gifts, so you could give these to three different people. These are chocolates are inside them. They're fourteen thirty-eight, so it's just under five pound a gift. They're cute as well. You know what? They'd look really cute underneath a Christmas tree. And these are nice gifts as well because they're super easy to gift. I think they have some more further along as well. Um, Kirtland Signature, this is Costco's own brand. So it's their own make and it's usually quite nice. But the quality is definitely still there. Well, it looks like that I'm going to bin this while I can. See a bin, nice. And then they have pizza pockets. So we'll go and try those ones. Three cheese pizzas pockets. Perfect, thank you. It's vegetarian. Yeah. If you enjoy this video so far, do us a few things like and subscribe. Wow, check out the hockey table. And they have the poker table as well. That's amazing. You'd be like playing like a pro. I think air hockey is more my game though, rather than the poker table. Oh, look, it's there. Even has LED lights as well. I like it when they get the arcade games out around Christmas time. It's cool to see. Pizza pocket's good. Very good. Oh, this is an advent calendar. I wish I showed you a picture of what it actually looked like inside. £72. Oh, they have a Lego one. The Lego Star Wars advent calendar. It's £23, so it is cheaper than the Lego store. I'll try and show you all the Lego sets. So if you watch my other videos, you know how much I love Disney. And I love Christmas Disney things. Look at these. It's 
That's so cute. Also love looking at the stationery items. I have these, don't have 30 of them. Maybe I do have that many. No, I don't think I have 30. Maybe I have like a smaller pack. And they have like the double ended. So you have a brush pen and a fine tip marker as well. They are really good. They're 17 pound in here, but I brought a smaller set from TK Maxx. Who doesn't love stationery? I still have the crackers in. Oh, nice catch. Their wrapping paper is really good quality and a lot of it is double-sided as well, which I absolutely love. It means that you can wrap different people's presents up in different um, wrapping paper or you can alternate. It just gives you options. It's really nice as well when you unwrap the gift and you can see that there's a pattern on the inside. Sometimes it's those small things, like the, uh, the hot chocolate and the little cards on this one and the Christmas trees some gift ideas over here. This is 11 pounds. The hoop is 24. It's getting a little bit busy over here now as well, so I'm just gonna scoot out the way. Uh, Lego storage heads are 30 pounds. Oh, you get two large, two small, and two mini. Like that there. Oh, that is a good price. This wooden village is very cute. I wonder if they have this out. They do. Oh, look. And you slide the wreath along for the date in December. Cute. Looks nice all lit up as well. It's 30 pounds. Cool. You can see one there, look, the bauble. Oh, I love the Christmas things. And now we're in December, I was going to say December, not quite, don't wish time away. But now that we're in November, I feel like it's acceptable to get the Christmas decorations down. I'll be able to see what I have in my attic, um, what Christmas decorations I have, what I need to get. I'm just going to make shopping even better. Well, I don't need this, but this is very clever. Look at this. So it will support your Christmas tree. That's 18 pounds. Very, very clever. Still love the lanterns. Ooh, these normally smell amazing. They're 24 pounds. So I like the ocean mist and the blush rose is also nice. And you have four wicks there as well, so it should burn evenly. Well, it looks like they have different colors in this. I'm not sure. It actually feels really American though, doesn't it? <laughs> the Yeti family. It's like in between a Yeti and a Gonk. I've gone, Gonks are really popular. Let's do Yetis. And now we're gonna move swiftly on. <laughs> this is more like it. Look, cute teddy bears in Christmas hats. This is what I'm all for. 
And Minnie's very cute. They also have Mickey as well. So I brought those last year. They're lovely. Christmas trees are absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Look at this one. That is huge. 12 foot, that's why. And it's 1,020 pounds. Wow, look at Father Christmas's sack. He is 96 pounds. I love these throws because look, we've got straps around them. I just think they look so classy. That kind of looks like a monster with its mouth. It looks like something from Harry Potter, but when it's wrapped properly, <laughs> it looks so classy. It's 42 pounds. It's 152 by 177 centimeters. So a fantastic size. and feels amazing. Oh, all the blankets do. Oh, is this a heated blanket? I don't know, I just feel, oh, they have a four hour auto shut off, which is good. I was gonna say, I just worry that I'd fall asleep, but then I'm assuming that's bad. But then if they have the auto shut off, complete peace of mind while relaxing. See? That's what I needed. If you use a heated blanket or you have in the past, let me know what you think. Oh, I have one of these. So I received one of these as a Christmas present. So you pop um, your hot water bottle inside the wrap and then you can put your hands inside. So I wear it like this. It is amazing. I absolutely love it. This one's £10. Oh, they've got one out. They've, they have the pink one out. So you like wrap it around and it Velcros. And then that's where your hot water bottle goes. And then you can pop your hands in this side here. It's so good. I love it. I wonder if Tesco still sell them this year. Two pack of the silk pillowcases, that's 48 pounds. And depending what type of silk you get and where you purchase the pillowcases from, there are usually about 50 pounds per pillowcase. So 48 for two is amazing. Look at this rug, it feels so soft. They sell smaller ones of these in Ikea which are quite nice to put on the back of a chair. But this is like huge. It's 180 by 110 centimeters and it's 48 pounds. Also comes in the gray as well. <laughs> Nordic boot socks. These are 12 pounds. They feel really thick. They look good quality. Nice colours too. And then velour leggings. I'm thinking about maybe getting a pair of these. These are 1678. And you have two pairs. They feel very soft. Oh, they have some more over here. These are more lounge ones. They have the tie in the middle. Oh, suede ones, they have so many different kinds of leggings and I love wearing leggings in winter. It's 
So I'm going to go for the velour or the suede. Oh, don't, don't drop them on the floor. The women's socks look amazing as well. Look at these. They're Lucky Brand. Love Lucky Brand. Brought a pair of Lucky Brand jeans when I was in California a few years ago. Absolutely love them. I wore them so much because just amazing quality. Like the beige and the cream pack. That's £10.18. Yeah, six pairs in there. That is such a great price. They also have sock liners as well, which I find really great for when you're wearing dolly shoes um, or shoes where you want to wear socks but don't want them to be seen. I usually pick mine up from Primark though. Might have to get a pair of these or a pack of these. have some Ugg dupes here. Look at these. £23 compared to £90 for um, Ugg ones. The base looks really good as well. I almost wish they had a pair out so you could see. And they have different colours as well. They have men's boots in, but they don't have any women's boots, which is a little bit of a shame. Would like to have seen what the ladies' boots were like. These jumpers feel nice. They're like waffle. Oh, and fleece-like inside. Nice, £14.38. I wonder if my dad would like one of these. They come in different colours too. Probably be a little bit too warm for him. That's everything that's new in, in Costco for November. Hope you enjoyed looking at the Christmas items. I'm just going to buy the leggings and the boot socks. I think that's it. Um, if you want to see more Christmas videos, check out the playlist that's at the top left and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.